Hello and welcome back to Game My Movie Recap Channel. Today, we're going to tell you the storyline of an action movie from 2010, starring Liam Neeson and Bradley Cooper, titled The A-Team, telling us about a group of former Special Forces soldiers who are wrongly accused of a crime they didn't commit. They must team up to clear their names, evade the military and various government agencies pursuing them, and utilize their unique skills to take down the real culprits and seek justice, all while navigating a thrilling and action-packed adventure. And without further ado, let's get straight to the video. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The beginning of the movie shows a colonel named John Smith being held captive by two of the mafia boss's henchmen in Mexican territory. Smith's hands are tied to a chair, and it seems like they are about to kill him. Then, they leave, releasing two hungry dogs to attack Smith. Fortunately, Smith manages to free himself and immobilizes the dogs. Afterward, he runs to rescue his colleague who is also being held hostage by the Mafia group at another location. Smith's colleague is named Peck, and he is being tortured by the Mafia boss. Despite the situation, Peck remains calm, trusting that Smith will soon come to save him. Returning to Smith, who now flagged down a car passing through the desert area, Smith pointed his gun at the driver and asked the driver to take him to the Mafia boss's ranch. However, the driver, instead, refused, forcing Smith to shoot the driver's arm. Eventually, the driver complied with Smith's demand. It was known that the driver's name was Bosco, and as Smith entered Bosco's car, he accidentally saw a Ranger tattoo on Bosco. Seeing the tattoo, Smith was surprised because he also had the same tattoo. It turned out that people with this tattoo were members of a special military force called the Army Rangers. Realizing that they both came from the same special forces, Smith and Bosco decided to join forces to save Peck. 20 minutes later, Peck was about to be executed, but luckily, Smith and Bosco arrived just in time, and a battle ensued. Eventually, Smith managed to rescue Peck, albeit in a somewhat extreme manner. Afterward, Smith took Bosco and Peck to the nearest army camp to seek help from a pilot named Murdoch, who had some mental issues. It was known that Murdoch was highly intelligent despite his mental condition and that he also came from the Army Rangers unit like them. Quickly, Smith instructed Murdoch to fly his helicopter and take them to the headquarters of the U.S. military. However, just as the helicopter was about to take off, they were suddenly attacked by the Mafia's henchmen who were still pursuing them. Fortunately, Murdoch quickly piloted the helicopter and managed to escape from the Mafia's pursuit. During the journey, the Mafia boss appeared in another helicopter, leading to an aerial battle. Murdoch showcased exceptional piloting skills, evading several shots fired by the Mafia boss. Then, Murdoch lured the Mafia boss into U.S. airspace. Not long after, two U.S. fighter jets arrived and fired missiles at the Mafia boss's helicopter until it was completely destroyed. The scene shifts eight years later. Currently, Smith, Peck, Bosco, and Murdoch have become a highly respected elite team in the military. They have received numerous awards because they have been a team for the past eight years. During this time, they have successfully completed 80 dangerous missions. The military leaders have nicknamed them the A-Team, and Smith is the leader of the team. Other military members highly respect Smith, and they are currently assigned to guard a camp in Iraq. Suddenly, Smith is approached by the CIA chief named Lynch. Lynch informs Smith that the Iraqi Mafia has managed to create a counterfeit U.S. dollar printing machine. If left unchecked, they will keep printing the dollars endlessly, which could devastate the U.S. economy. Lynch asked Smith and his team to steal the counterfeit money printing machine along with $1 billion in cash that they have already printed. He also informs Smith that the Mafia will be moving the printing machine and all the cash to Baghdad tonight. Therefore, if Smith agrees, tonight is the right time to carry out the operation. Upon hearing this, Smith responds that he will first seek permission from the general. Shortly after, Smith approached the general to seek permission regarding the task from Lynch, the CIA chief. The general stated that for such permissions, approval must come from the military commander. However, waiting for the commander's approval would take several days. In the end, the general secretly approved the mission. After leaving the general's office, Smith crossed paths with the elite special team named Black Forest. This elite team is led by a soldier named Pike, who has always been jealous of Smith. Pike approached Smith, but Smith ignored him and chose to leave. Later that afternoon, Smith gathered with his three teammates to plan their strategy. 
Smith assigned Peck to stand by in an underground sewer to intercept the truck carrying the counterfeit money printing machine. Smith and Bosco would then make the truck derail into the water, allowing Murdoch to airlift it using a helicopter. As the night fell, Smith and his team were ready, and the mission finally began. Eventually, they successfully derailed the truck into the water, and Murdoch swiftly airlifted it using the helicopter. Shortly after, Smith's team brought the truck with the counterfeit money printing machine to their base. However, when the general was about to approach Smith and his team, an unexpected explosion occurred. It turned out to be the doing of the Black Forest team led by Pike. In this incident, the general tragically lost his life due to the explosion. Pike and his team managed to escape, taking the counterfeit money printing machine with them, and they became fugitives. The next day, Smith's team was seen on trial before the military commander. The military commander deemed Smith's mission illegal, especially since it resulted in the death of the general. Consequently, he decided to punish them for undertaking the mission without proper authorization. Smith tried to defend himself, claiming that they had received permission from the general. However, the military commander still held Smith responsible, stating that it was not in accordance with the standard procedures of the U.S. military. In the end, Smith and his team were discharged from the military and sentenced to serve 10 years in separate prisons. The scene shifts to eight months later, where Smith is imprisoned in Colorado. Suddenly, Lynch, the CIA chief, visits Smith and informs him that the military and police have yet to capture the Black Forest team. One month ago, the Black Forest team was captured on CCTV in Germany, along with an unidentified Middle Eastern man. Lynch's purpose for visiting Smith is to offer him a mission to reclaim the money printing device from the hands of the Black Forest team. In return, Lynch promises to help Smith escape from prison and clear his and his team's names, erasing their criminal records. After hearing this, Smith agrees to take on the mission from Lynch. Lynch gives Smith a book containing cigars laced with a chemical substance. If Smith smokes the cigar, he will die for several hours. After Lynch leaves, Smith immediately smokes the cigar and is pronounced dead shortly after. A few hours later, when Smith was about to be cremated, suddenly he rose and managed to escape. Then Smith immediately went to the prison in Florida to free Peck. It didn't take long, and finally, Smith succeeded in freeing Peck from the prison. Then they both went to free Bosco, who was currently being transferred to another prison using a bus. Smith shot a grappling hook to the bus and started to save Bosco. After successfully freeing Bosco, Smith took them to Germany to liberate Murdoch, who was currently held in a mental institution. There was a female captain named Carissa Sosa who was deliberately ordered to guard Murdoch as the military authorities had learned that Smith and his two companions had just escaped. The inmates with mental disorders were watching a movie using 3D glasses, including Carissa Sosa. However, none of them were aware that Smith and his team had arrived, until suddenly. After successfully freeing Murdoch, Smith and his team immediately boarded a Hercules aircraft to head to Berlin. As they were about to take off, Carissa Sosa and her forces were seen chasing after them, but luckily, Smith's team managed to escape. During the flight, they were once again pursued by German fighter planes, leading to an aerial dogfight. The aircraft they were in got hit and was soon disabled, forcing them to parachute down with a tank that was already attached to a parachute. They eventually landed in a lake. After regrouping, they proceeded to Berlin to reclaim the counterfeiting machine from the Black Forest unit. The scene shifts to Captain Carissa Sosa, who is reviewing the CCTV footage from Smith's prison escape yesterday. Here, Carissa Sosa discovers that the person who helped Smith escape is none other than Lynch, the CIA chief. She quickly contacts Lynch and warns him not to mess with the military if he values his life. Upon hearing this, Lynch is obviously furious and orders his assistant to closely monitor Carissa Sosa and, if necessary, eliminate her. Meanwhile, the Smith's team is having a discussion about their upcoming mission. Smith realizes that Lynch will not hesitate to eliminate anyone who stands in his way, including Carissa Sosa. Smith orders Peck to capture Carissa Sosa and secure her in a safe location because he believes that Lynch is currently hunting her down. Later that day, Peck immediately went to Carissa Sosa's location and managed to corner her. Here, Peck advises Carissa Sosa to go to a safer place as Lynch is currently hunting her down. 
Peck also assures her that Smith is not a bad person and doesn't need to be arrested. Smith is only trying to reclaim the printing machine to clear their names. The scene shifts to a building where the Black Forest unit and the Middle Eastern man are carrying the printing machine case. Unbeknownst to them, Bosco is already there, disguised as a window cleaner. When the time is right, Bosco starts creating a commotion. Smith arrives and successfully seizes the printing machine case. Meanwhile, Bosco captures the Middle Eastern man and Murdoch takes him away using a helicopter. Back to Smith, who is now trying to escape with his briefcase, but unfortunately, he gets shot by Pike, the leader of Black Forest, causing the briefcase to fall down. Luckily, Bosco, who is already below, quickly grabs the briefcase and heads to the parking area. However, Bosco's luck runs out as he gets shot by Pike and is severely beaten. Pike manages to retrieve the briefcase again and intends to finish off Bosco, but suddenly... Smith arrives to rescue him. They quickly flee together, carrying the briefcase. At the same time, Carissa Sosa arrives with her troops to apprehend Pike and all the members of the Black Forest group. The scene shifts to Smith and his team, who are now in their headquarters. Everyone is safe, and they proceed to unmask the kidnapped Middle Eastern man. As they remove the mask, they are shocked to discover that the Middle Eastern man is the general who was presumed dead after his car was destroyed by the Black Forest group. This revelation leaves Smith and the others astounded as they never expected the general to betray them. Peck is ready to shoot the general, but Smith intervenes, wanting to interrogate him first. The general explains that he and Lynch had collaborated to obtain the money printing machine by exploiting Smith's team. However, once Smith's team successfully acquired it, the general chose to betray Lynch by ordering Pike to steal the machine and fake his own death. Upon hearing that, Smith immediately went outside to contact Lynch. Once they were connected, Smith promptly revealed everything, including Lynch's plot to acquire the money printer for his personal gain. Suddenly, the sound of an aircraft was heard, and out of nowhere. It turned out to be an attack orchestrated by Lynch, who chose to destroy everything to cover up his dirty secrets that had been exposed. In this incident, the general truly perished, but Smith and his team managed to survive. The next evening, Carissa Sosa was seen interrogating Pike. Shortly after, she was approached by Lynch, who had brought an official transfer letter for Pike. Seeing this, Carissa Sosa was left powerless, and Lynch took Pike with him. On the other side, it shows Smith on a boat with his team. Here, Smith already has a plan to trap Lynch, so he contacts Carissa Sosa directly. In the call, Smith tells Carissa Sosa that the general and all his team members are safe, and he still has the money printing machine. Smith plans to hand over the general and the machine to the military on the condition that he and his team are set free and their names are cleared. Carissa Sosa agrees to Smith's request and they agree to meet at Los Angeles port in two days. Unbeknownst to them, Lynch has been eavesdropping on Carissa Sosa's office phone, leading him to believe that the general is alive and with Smith's group. Lynch then asks Pike to help him retrieve the machine and eliminate the general, promising Pike's freedom as a reward. At the same time, Peck suddenly contacts Carissa Sosa using his personal phone. He reveals to her that all of this is Smith's plan to trap Lynch. Smith was aware that Lynch had been tapping Carissa Sosa's office phone, so he intentionally misled Lynch by claiming that the general was still alive, when in fact, it was all part of Smith's trap to capture Lynch. Upon hearing this, Carissa Sosa understands the situation, and now the military is ready to assist Smith. In no time, Smith and his team arrive in Los Angeles and immediately start planning to capture Lynch. After extensive preparations, they head to the port to initiate their mission. Upon arrival, they spot Lynch and his entire force, ready to open fire. However, Smith remains calm as he enters one of the containers with Murdoch. Inside the container, Smith covers Murdoch's head to make Lynch believe it's the general. Meanwhile, Peck, who is in the control room, cleverly manipulates the movements of three containers, confusing Lynch about which one contains Smith and the fake general. At the same time, it was Bosco's turn to take action by controlling a car remotely, causing chaos. All of Pike's henchmen surrounded the car, but Bosco managed to trap them and detonate the vehicle. As a result, all of Pike's men were gone, leaving only Pike and Lynch. Witnessing the destruction of his men, Pike retaliated by firing a missile towards Bosco. Pike then approached Peck and successfully cornered him. 
Peck felt helpless as he had no chance to fight back. Fortunately, Bosco arrived on a motorcycle and swiftly took down Pike. On the other hand, Lynch managed to find Smith inside the container, and a battle ensued between them. Smith, who was already exhausted, was rendered helpless by Lynch. Then, Lynch shot the fake general without realizing that it was actually Murdoch. Seeing his comrade being shot, Smith got angry and rose to fight against Lynch. In the midst of the fight, the container suddenly lifted, revealing that it was Captain Carissa Sosa and her troops. Now, Lynch was completely surrounded and had no choice but to surrender. At the same time, Bosco removed the head covering from Murdoch, who was shot by Lynch earlier. Fortunately, Murdoch was unharmed as Smith had put a protective gear on his head. At sunrise, Smith handed over the money printing briefcase to the military. However, to their surprise, Smith and his team were still going to be arrested for their prison escape. They felt deeply disappointed with Carissa Sosa for breaking her promise. As they were about to be put into the prisoner transport vehicle, Carissa Sosa approached Peck and kissed him. During the journey to the prison, Peck suddenly smiled and took out a key from his mouth. It turned out to be the key given by Carissa Sosa during their kiss. Smith and his team smiled as they realized they had a chance to escape again. And with that, the movie came to an end. What do you think of the movie? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and support the channel by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you won't miss our future recaps. And if you have any movies or series you want us to recap, please do tell us in the comments section as well. And that's about it. Until next time.